All right, guys. So um, we have have currently built um the credit and account function. So I think we may as well build, um build the debit and account function as well. Since if you look at it here, the only difference that we're going to have, I think, is we close copy everything here, and then Control V. I could see minus equals to amount, right? So what we want to do is that for account and bank account, if account name is exactly equals to the target account, if the account number is equal to the target account number, that is, if that if the account number we are creating on is the target account number, then we want to what we want to debit that account, right? So um, we want to test whether it works or not. So so we will return through here if if this succeeds. That is, we found the account number and we have debited the amount on it. Or we are going to return false if we finish the loop. If we complete the loop and we, we couldn't find the account number, then we are going to return false. All right. So we are going to use that information, the return value. We are going to use it to, to consider whether the function, the, the action was completed successfully or not. That is, whether the transfer or the withdrawal or the deposit was successful on it all right so once we've completed this i think the next thing i would like to do is um i would like to build this main function here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to make this a loop a continuous loop that is going to loop forever and it's going to access what we want to do and then depending on what we what we um depending on our, on our input yeah, it's going to take us to the appropriate function. So what I'm going to do is say um, while while true. So here I'm going to look forever. That is, so we can say um. So let's say um. So print. Let's say the action is equals to input. So we want to collect input from user and then we want to um want to let's say let's say want to welcome welcome them welcome and then we want to ask them what would you like to do? Right. So I'm going to give them options of what they can do. So um, what I'm going to do is we'll have something like this. Uh, all right, sorry. We'll have like, um, let's take this to new line and we'll have something like one. One will be deposit. deposit money and then two is going to be um so let me just copy this to save time so two will be um withdraw and i will spell withdraw Firstly, withdraw money, all right, and then let's do that again. And three, one to um, withdraw one transfer money. for money and then um for we want to um check balance to check balance all right and then five
5 will be exit so 5 will be exit bank exit bank all right so i know it might not be clear right now what i'm trying to do but just in a minute it's going to make a lot of sense so what i'm trying to do is um i'm trying to collect user inputs that is i'm going to give them option of one two three or four and five and then depending on their input we are going to um we are going to take them to the right place where what to do what what they want to do so um so let's come down here and let's say um so by default whatever input we get from the user is going to come in the form of a string so um so what we're going to do is we're going to enter a conditional check we could say if action sorry if action is exactly exactly equals to one then what we would like to do we're going to go to deposit deposit funds right um okay i want to call deposit funds function and then if if action is exactly equal to two then we're going to withdraw funds function right all right then um if action is exactly equals to three what do you intend to do when the function is three um and to transfer money right so let's call it transfer funds function then lf lf action exactly equals to or what if action is actually equals to four we want to um check balance right we want to check balance check oh i can't spell balance all right so we'll come down here and create a check balance function i think we haven't created that yet um def check balance all right so let's say pass file all right all right all right that's right, so, so far so good um and if the input elif if action exactly equals to five it means these want to exit so i just call exit function this is a built on python function there's a python function called exit that automatically terminates the program else if these are input is none of these options else i think we should still exit the program Uh, I think let's just repeat. Let's just say um, print. Let's just print this in a new line. So it's new line. Please, please check your input. Let's check your input. Let's say slash new line also. All right, control S. Right, I think it's time we test this. So um to test the to test how the program is running up and let's call the main function and see. So I want to call the main function and see how it's behaved so far. Um I'm going to run this through the terminal, not through Sublime, because Sublime has issues taken taken in user inputs. I don't know why. Alright, let's do this. Say play. All right, so we have our what do we want to run? We have function banking program. So let's say Python function. Uh, maybe I'll expand this to full screen. Say clear Python 
function um, banking program that's py all right so i'm going to run this all right so look at what we have here now um so i don't know whether it's making sense right now right now so when we execute the program the first thing that happens is now all we've done so far is we've defined um about five to six functions and then we now start running the program from the entry point that is the main um this is the main entry point of the program that's all this main means you know the entry point could be anything you could name it dev entry point dev whatever it is you want but i decide to follow the convention of using main as the entry point of a program so um so you see on running on running on running this it prints out a list of input for us deposit money withdraw money transfer money check balance exit bank so depending on our input going to um it's going to perform the necessary action and then we're going to soon we're going to fill in this function so let me kind of cancel this so there. there's something i need to adjust here um i would like this to appear um draw like a new line to follow that so control s now let's go back to our terminal and let's run this again all right so you see yeah it puts this it puts this on a new line so let's say for example we put in six says let's check your input such as we put in something that is no value if we put in something like this check your input if we put in five it exits five to exit the program and then the remaining functions we haven't actually created anything within them so even if we call them they won't work all right so um i'm going to pause the video here and then in the next video we are going to look at how we are going to start populating the various functions and using them to complete our banking application um i hope so far this is making sense thank you for watching see you in the next video